So it's the day after the night before, a first home league debut for yourself, another assist as well. You've got to be happy with your night's work against Barnsley. Yeah, obviously I think like the most important thing was the 2-0 win. It was good to come home and, and get back to winning ways after the Forest game. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a good night. What does that show about the character of this team? A few new boys in there. It's a big setback against Nottingham Forest, but to respond at the first time of asking in the manner that we did, it must say a lot about this group. Yeah, now obviously there were, like there's still a core group that was that was together last year, and obviously they've sort of took all the all the new lads, um, sort of, and shown them like how we do it, sort of thing. When you look at the performance itself, you had to dig in for a large part of that first half, but then almost expanded in the second period to try and go and win the game. Yeah, definitely. I think it was always the intention to get the three points. Um, and obviously at times it's, it's the championship. You're not going to dominate games. We're not Man City. We know that. So even at home, you've got to dig in and then, and then yeah, expand and try to get the three points later on. From a personal point of view, it's another assist on the uh, new score sheet. But ultimately, it was a ball that's meant to be for Alvaro Jimenez. I know a few people said that Christian Pedersen <laughs> made your first assist, but that was definitely one that you picked out from range. Yeah, yeah now nah, obviously I've seen him. He's peeled off the centre back and I thought like might as well put it in behind it will be a good ball if it comes off and obviously it come off and he's he's done well to finish it from where it was you know he's cushioned it with his chest and just dinked it over the keeper and of course it comes after the first one I mean when you've got Lukas Jukovic to aim for as a, a wing back or a full back I mean as soon as he starts to loiter at that far post you know what's about to come oh mate it's a dream isn't it like obviously I've seen like on Wes's side he's just chipped up in the air I was I was ready to celebrate as soon as this hanging in the air, you know what I mean? He's um you know, he's a top striker, obviously you'd always you'd always back him to, to win anything in them situations. It was very similar to the one against Bristol, wasn't it? So yeah. From a personal point of view, back in the side again last night, must just be pleased to be picking up the minutes and adding to that championship experience. Yeah, obviously I think um, you know, minutes is is important for me because you know, I want to learn, I want to get better with, with every game sort of thing. Um, and, you know, you come up against different people, um, you learn different things and then you can then become a better player over time and, and, and keep getting the minutes, keep trying to, you know, put an impact in for the team and, you know, be hopefully become an established player in the team. Pep's obviously toggled with a few systems in the last few games. How do you find playing as a, a wing back or a wide of a, of a midfield four? Yeah, I enjoy it. I mean, I'm <laughs> you're gonna put me in somewhere. I'm gonna run. You know what I mean? I'm gonna show that I can. So I'm just gonna get about. Um, try put into practice on the pitch. What obviously Pep's saying in the dressing room, and and you know, use the knowledge he's given us to to then go out and perform my best and show a bit of desire and you know put myself about there's one or two comments after the result last night that blues had gone back to their gritty best yesterday and they were trying to make this transitional period into more of a, a, a possession football side but is it important that you don't negate what was so good about last season the last few seasons that gritty hard to beat dogged birmingham city yeah of course i think you gotta you gotta play both sides of the game you can't you can't win by just attacking and you can't win by just defending either do you know what I mean um, well obviously you can but over the course of a season you can't get promoted that way obviously they've got um, you know big aspirations for the club and obviously you've got to do both sides of the game to get the best out of yourselves How big a role I know you spoke about it before but now you're playing championship football did those two loans last year set you up for the competitive league action Yeah massively they were you know they were I enjoyed them a lot and also I learned a lot from both of them, you know, I think I was lucky in the fact that both clubs were such a good fit and such good environments to to get on and play in. Um, but yeah, it was very beneficial for me and also the like the characters and staff that surrounded those clubs um, when I was there. And you'd have had options to go and play League One, League Two football again in the summer. As soon as the club made a decision to keep you here, was it then just about trying to play and force your way into Pep's reckoning? Yeah, I think you've got to, you know, if you're in a situation, you've got to try and make the best out of it. You've got to try and, and ultimately, I want to play football. So I'm going to do everything I can to, to be starting on a Saturday or as close to that as possible. 
you're one of the fitter runners in the team. Do you look forward to these Saturday Tuesdays? I know we've just come off the back of a Saturday Tuesday, a bit more of a rest going into Swansea, but yeah. do you like the rough and tumble of the championship? Uh, yeah, I do enjoy it. I think obviously it does get tiring sometimes, like after night games, you know, usually struggle to sleep a bit. So like you're only getting to bed late and then you're up again early next day. But I, I enjoy it. It's, I think there's always like points to be had in the midweek games where maybe teams are a bit leggy coming out of the weekend. So obviously that's just like free hit really in, in the midweek to, to gain positions. Mm -hmm. On to Swansea, traditionally a possession-based football side, go to the Liberty on Sunday in an early kickoff. Would it be a different encounter to, to the Barnsley go? Uh, yeah, of course. I think every every encounter you play is, is different. There's no team the same. And even when you play the same team two days later, they're not the same as they were. You know what I mean? It's um, Every game's different. Um, obviously, we just look forward to it and try to get the three points. And it's been a solid start as well. Does that bode well, given the fact that its team is still in its infancy and it's going to take time for the new boys to gel? Yeah, yeah, of course. I think as we get further along the road, we just try and keep picking up the points along with putting in better performances. Um, obviously, at times when we have to, we'll put our backs against the wall and, and grind out results. But I think that, you know, we want to perform well and win which obviously every team does want to do. Finally, you've already racked up two assists to your record this year. You told us just that you should have scored against Barnsley, shouldn't you? Are we going to see a goal from you sometime soon? Hopefully, yeah. I think you can always, you can always hope for better. There's always things to be done that can make your performance better.